from the great outdoors. This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Friday, January 13th. Celebrating 100 years. Cunard celebrated the 100th anniversary of its first world cruise on Wednesday, marking the occasion with a firework display in Southampton as Queen Mary II and Queen Victoria departed on their own world cruises. Both ships feature itineraries that have many of the same calls as their very first round-the-world cruises. Cunard currently has three ships and soon to be four when Queen Anne joins the fleet. And Disney is expanding its voyages. Adventures by Disney has announced a new seven-night expedition cruise in the Adriatic on a ship chartered by luxury line Ponant. The 2024 sailing will be round trip from Venice, visiting seven ports in Croatia and Montenegro. Also in 24, Adventures by Disney will be offering expedition cruises to Antarctica, the Galapagos Islands, and the Arctic. And finally, Silver Sea Cruises has revealed details on the public venues aboard its upcoming ship Silver Nova. New to the cruise line will be the Shelter, an evening-only bar. The Salt Bar and Salt Lab cooking spaces have been relocated to Deck 10 with more space and new outdoor areas. Silver Nova also features a new asymmetrical layout, which will allow for better passenger flow. The 728-guest ship is scheduled to debut this August in the Mediterranean. And Cruise Line stocks were up on Thursday. Carnival Corporation up 4%, 10.27%. Caribbean up 5.7%, 62.60%. And Norwegian up 5%, 15.33%. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. Here in Cinnamon Bay in St. John and the U.S. Virgin Islands, I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great weekend.